Right guys, I thought we'd do a quick video regarding my experience with the DeWalt 3 year warranty. Uh, seven or eight months ago I bought the 54 volt flexible chainsaw, which is here. Uh, I just upgraded uh, from 18 volt. I've had this one for I don't know, two or three years without any issue, but it was just time to upgrade to a, a more powerful chainsaw. This has been excellent to be honest. Uh, but the issue I did find just after New Year, uh, the, the beginning of January, uh, the oil pump that oils the chain to keep the chain lubricated and the you know to oil the chips uh, stop working so I found my chains were overheating and blunting down you know unnecessarily quickly uh, you know so it just rendered the, the chainsaw useless so I sent it back in for warranty um, in this video I just want to go through the process it was a bit of a learning curve for me um, I've never had to warranty a DeWalt tool before um, I don't know if that's testament to me looking after the tools or just the quality of the tools, but um, this is my first experience and I just thought we'd run through it uh, with you guys. So yeah, this is a 54 volt chainsaw, which I primarily use for fencing. Um, as I've said before, regulars to my channel know I've, um, I've started up a fencing business. So I do use chainsaws quite a lot, especially for cutting 4x4 four four posts. Um, I'll stick a little clip in here of me doing that uh, so you can see what I mean. Uh, so this is me just cutting a 4x4 post, you know, you can see the chains all just uh, he eats through these, you know, it's, it's, it's great. So it's a, so this is a really critical tool for me, especially now I'm doing a lot of fencing work. Um, so as I've said, uh, this tool basically broke down just, I think it was about the 3rd or 4th of January. Yeah, so the process, I phoned up the nearest, well, firstly, I'm registered on the DeWalt site, you know, I register all my tools on there uh, when I, within a month of buying them, you know, so you get the, the three-year warranty. Uh, I went onto the site and it advised me to call the nearest, you know, service centre. So, yeah, so phoned up the Power Tool Centre in Liverpool in the UK. That was the, the dealer that was told to, to phone up. Uh, they basically advised me to... Uh, they basically advised me that they would send out a postage label uh, via email, which they did. Um, told me to package up the chainsaw nice and securely. Put a copy of the receipt in, you know, the original purchase receipt, in with the saw and send it away. So, you know, so lo and behold, put the phone down, check my emails, and there, there was the postage label, you know, in, the, in my email, in my inbox. So, yeah, so as I said, package the saw up, put the label on it. You know, it was collected the following day and uh, that was the saw, you know, off to the power tool, power tool centre to get repaired. Um, so to cut a long story short, after three or four days, I, heard, I hadn't heard anything. Um, I saw the saw had been delivered. I think it was the 5th of January it was delivered. So around about the, the 7th or 8th of January, I just called just to see, you know, um, you know what the progress was. Uh, during that phone call, I was told that they were unable to fix the, the saw under warranty, so they had to send it to DeWalt um, to, you know, I don't know, to have a look at it or, or whatever they were going to do. So that was that. Uh, I was then told that I would hear back from DeWalt within a week, you know, to, to tell me what was wrong with the saw. So a week goes past, I uh, hadn't heard anything. Um, you know, waited another couple of days, so we're probably at, I don't know, around about the 20th of January now. Um, so contacted the Power Tool Centre again via email this time. And just asking, you know, what the issue was, I hadn't heard from DeWalt. Um, they, they basically said that uh, they would chase up DeWalt, so they would chase them up and get back to me that day. So that was that. Uh, lo and behold, then the day I hadn't heard anything from the Power, power Tool Centre. So we waited for the next day, uh, emailed them again just to see, you know, if they'd heard anything. Didn't get any response uh, again, so I called. Uh, I got a guy on the phone and he actually told me that uh, DeWalt couldn't fix the saw, so they'd actually decided just to send me out a new one. <clears throat> and it would be getting sent out within, you know, within the week. So that was fine, you know, we're, we're heading towards the end of January now. Um, Still a bit of a pain, you know, this was three weeks now without a saw. Uh, to cut a long story even shorter, still no saw after the first week. Um, we're getting to the week of February now, end of the first week, still no saw, nothing. 
Uh, I was getting a bit irate now, my emails were getting a bit uh, furious, you know, back and forward to Tower Tool Centre, who I must say have been were excellent throughout um, throughout for communication and stuff. Yeah, so emails back and forth, back and forth, and I eventually got a phone call from the Power Tool Centre telling me that <clears throat> the the what we're going to replace the saw, and for my you know for my trouble, they were going to give me a free battery as well. Um, so which was great. So I accepted that offer, um, and they told me again that the saw would be with me within a week. Um, this was the second week of February, I think. So now we're, I think we got into the third or fourth week of February. Yeah, so anyway, it, it came to the, the fourth week in December, in February, sorry. Uh, I think it was the 26th or 27th. And I eventually got a package uh, through the door, which I was fairly surprised when I got the package. So I'll show you what I got. Right, so this is what I received. Uh, this is the DCM five seven five X one. So this package is it's not the bare tool; it's the actual, you know, brand new chainsaw, and it actually came with a Dewalt fast charger and the free battery, as they said. Now, me and my, my wisdom, I, I didn't realise. I, I was just thinking automatically a five amp hour battery, but as you can see, brand new nine amp hour battery from Dewalt fifty four volt. Which is much appreciated, uh, along with the, the fast charger. So, to cut a long story short, uh, for all the hassle that I had, pretty much a two month waiting time for my saw, I got a free battery and a free charger. So, that was my first experience of the Dewalt warranty. Sent a critical tool to my business away and didn't get a replacement for nearly two months. Um, I want to ask the question with you guys do you think that's acceptable? Uh, you know, was I being unreasonable by sending all these, you know, pretty irate emails, really? Um, but to me, when you buy, when you spend a lot of money on, you know, quality tools, you'd expect to get a replacement, you know, fairly quickly. You know, they're critical to the business. Um, I can understand a small impact driver, maybe you would get that quickly. Tools like this are maybe a little bit more specialist and more difficult to get to you. But two months, come on. I was, I was kind of raging. Um, really fortunate that I had this little guy here that could get me through or a handsaw, you know, if, I, if it really came to it. But it was just, I was really peeved, you know, with the amount of time that this took to come back. Um, and with it breaking, you know, it's not, it's not a cheap tool. Um, you know, it break within seven months, it was crazy. So I need to keep a close eye on this uh, oil pump just to make sure that it doesn't break again. Uh, so anyway, enough of my waffle. Um, that's my experience of the DeWalt warranty. Eh? Yeah, so just keen to know any of these thoughts out there or anybody else's experience. Uh, please stick it down in the comments if you've had any good experiences or bad experiences with, with DeWalt or, or, you know, any of the premium brand tools, to be honest. Milwaukee, Makita, uh, Festo, all these type of brands. Um, if you can recommend any of the warranties with them, that would be, that'd be good. Because it has got me thinking a little bit. To be left without a critical tool for two months was... A bit of a joke, to be honest. Um, I know there's a pandemic and all this, these sort of things, but two months is too long, in my view. So that's it, guys. Just a quick one. Um, I've been missing an action for the last uh, probably month or so. Just really, really busy at the moment. Um, but I will, I'll try and upload some uh, videos going forward. Yeah, it's just crazy at the moment, trying to get time. Um, Anyway, thanks for watching, and as always guys, if you're new here, please subscribe by clicking there or there. Hopefully, we'll see you in the next one. Okay guys, thank you. Cheers.